How many times do we ask a kid who she loves more, the mother or father? Have you seen a toddler go for a walk with parents? A lot of time, you will find that the child is walking in the middle holding hands of both the parents. Sometimes you will find the kid is swinging in enjoyment. Now take one parent away. The child is no longer able to swing and you have robbed her of the fun. That in my view is parental alienation. When one parent takes away the other from the child. Some blame it on divorce, some say it's how a parent takes revenge in a messy separation. But I feel it's more to do with insecurity. A particular parent feels that the child will get more attached to the other and leave. He or she tries to latch on. After all, it will be very unfair to say that parents exploit their own children as tools or weapons to take revenge, don't you think? If we go by the definition, yes. But in reality and in the Indian context, you would see that grandparents also have a major role to play. In any failed marriage, they feel that it's their child who has been shortchanged by the spouse. Not surprisingly, they commonly express their misgivings in the presence of the kid, often resulting in giving the kid the impression that the other parent is a villain. Tell me, which child would like to hear that her father or mother is a bad person? As I said, it's a manifestation of insecurity that does not need broken homes, at least legally broken. A partner is unhappy with the other. For all venting, the child is often the only audience. Now, if that happens regularly, the child starts getting brainwashed into believing and may get estranged from the other parent. It might not be as big to be defined as a condition or syndrome, but alienation does happen. Sometimes we also do it unknowingly. How many times do we ask a kid who she loves more, the mother or father? Just think of the pressure we are putting on the kid in making a choice between parents. Why can't she love both equally? Your children are no pawn. Don't pass on your grudge to them. Let them enjoy the company of both parents and learn from them both. Let them have fun growing up, enjoying the company of both parents. Thank you.